What are you waiting for? There are many things people either will be waiting for now or have been waiting for in the past. Have you ever been waiting for a bus to come? But it doesn't appear and then three buses arrive at once. Waiting for holidays? Whatever the time of year, summer or winter? Waiting for snow or to build a snowman if it's winter? Waiting for exam or school test results? Though some may prefer not to wait for these. Waiting to open Christmas presents, which can seem like a long time. Sometimes you look at the presents under a tree and try to guess what they are by their shape. Not always easy. Over 2,000 years ago, the priest Zachariah and his wife Elizabeth were waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for a son, thinking he would never come. God said he would, but Zachariah didn't believe God. But then their son was born. God answered Zachariah's prayer. Zachariah and Elizabeth's son John would, later in his life, be really important in preparing people to see that Jesus was the Son of God. The people of Israel were also waiting for a saviour, and they were waiting in really difficult times under Roman rule. People saying, we need a saviour, we need someone to rescue us. God had many times before that said he was going to give them a saviour, who was, as we know, Jesus. But the people got tired of waiting, so they weren't expecting him. Just as Zechariah wasn't expecting what God had said would happen with the birth of his son. God answers our prayers. Sometimes he says yes, sometimes no. But sometimes the most difficult answer is not yet. Us having to wait even if it is for a long time. How are we waiting for him? Does waiting for God to answer prayer mean that we do nothing? If you are waiting for a very important person to come to your house, such as a ruler or celebrity, what do you do? You get ready. You prepare for their arrival, whenever that may be. So how do we get ready or prepare as we wait for God to answer prayer? For starters, do we pray? If not, now's the time in the lead up to Christmas to start. God always hears prayer, however young or old you are, whatever language you speak to him in, whether it's out loud or silently. The encouragement from these stories is don't give up, but believe that God will answer in his own time. So we keep on praying and trusting. And now, let's sing about that.